in the endless reaches of the universe. Or more specifically, on the edge of Western Coiny, a suburb of Stoke-on-Trent in England's West Midlands, civilization has brought forth a superman whose mental and physical powers have been developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, the amazing stranger is Alan Nasty Nash, and he has toes of steel. Fifty-four-year-old Alan Nasty Nash is, as he points out, the greatest toe wrestler of all time. In 2013, he won a record 10th World Championship title. Over the past 20 years, he's linked big toes with the best and come out trumps. This is a man with an athlete's foot like no other. I don't know what it takes to actually make a great toe wrestler because with being the greatest, I've always been the greatest. To best use his amazing power in the never-ending battle for truth and justice, Nasty has assumed the disguise of Alan Nash, a mild-mannered product specialist who by day works for a well-known manufacturer of construction machinery in Staffordshire. By night, he's a different character altogether. I've been over to Hollywood, I've uh, Pierce Brosnan, Jay Leno. Yeah, I've been over to Italy, Spain, Germany. Got the Australian title as well. I love beating the Australians. They do us at the cricket, we'll do them in the toe wrestling. Toe wrestling is a sport unlike any other, except perhaps arm wrestling. Taking place on a stage known as a toadium, bouts comprise a best-of-three format, beginning with the right foot, then the left, before ending with the right. With toes locked together and feet always touching the board, players aim to force a toe down, where their opponent's ankle or toes touch the toes rack. In my case, the bigger the feet, the more they snap, so... I prefer nines and tens, 11 probably, with good size feet. Small feet are no good, and big feet, bit of a hindrance. But whoever they are, they just snap just the same. The World Championships, now staged annually in the rather salubrious surroundings of the Bentley Brook Inn in Fenny Bentley, Derbyshire, date back to 1974. The story goes that back then, in a pub in Staffordshire, regulars had set about searching for a game that the British could win at and they came up with toe wrestling. Last year, Alan made it a perfect 10. <laughs> a Guinness World Record holder for cracking eggs with his toes and an expert chicken hypnotizer, Alan Nasty Nash is perhaps Western Coiny's most famous son. And it's here, in his back garden, that the Toe Master's training ground can be found. Now this is one of my secret gadgets. No other toe wrestlers have got one of these. I just shipped him special from America. What it does, this stretches his skin between the toes to stop the skin splitting during a competition because if you've got any open wounds, you're automatically disqualified. But like boxing with an open cut. So this is the best gadget I've ever bought, this is. It's lovely. Nasty goes to the gym three nights a week in the off-season and seven days a week in the build-up to competitions. In the early years, he exclusively trained his legs and feet. But following a famous defeat to one particularly tough Italian customer in a bout which lasted over an hour, Alan analysed his own weaknesses and changed his regime accordingly. Training the toes is one thing, but upper body strength is what gives me the edge over the losers. Alan first took to the toadium in 1994. Since then, he's made mincemeat of many a household toe wrestling name. Stalwarts such as the Predator, arch rival Paul the Terminator Beach, and Ian the Destroyer Davis have fallen by the wayside as Nasty has steamrolled his way through the annals of toe wrestling history. Yeah, 
I've tried other sports in the past. I've tried white water rafting and fell out. I went skydiving, nearly broke my neck. So I tried bungee jumping. No, don't fancy that one. Uh, tried hang gliding, hit the side of a cow, nearly broke my neck again. So I thought, two wrestling came along. I thought, I think that's the one for me. So I had a crack at it that year, and that's the year I won the first one. And the rest was just history. It's with this macho attitude that we find Alan at home having a pedicure at the hands of his youngest daughter, Chloe. It's the final piece of the puzzle in preparation for the 2014 Toe Wrestling World Championships. Over the past two decades, Nasty has broken countless toes of countless opponents, and he's broken each of his own at least once. Most famously, he once won the world title with four broken toes on one foot, following a particularly savage semi-final bout. This year, though, his digits are in fine fettle, and if the King of Kings can retain his crown, he'll be a world beater for the 11th time. Nasty steps up to the podium in his own inimitable fashion, and he has his best foot forward from the off. Making short work of his opponents in the early rounds, Nasty comes up against Doc Toe Shaw in the final. In spite of pulling up a determined effort, the good doctor is dispensed with as clinically as the others, and Alan is crowned Toe Wrestling World Champion for a record 11th time. And proving that he isn't all that bad, Nasty donates his earnings to a children's charity, as he always does. Please everything to me, a prize, and a... Uh... I'm just so proud of myself because my family is so proud of me. After his exertions and exploits at the Bentley Brook Inn, Nasty finds time in his schedule for some all-important rest and recuperation. Back home with his biggest fans. The family, uh, it's all they've ever known, so they've never known me any other way. So I've always been... Nasty. <laughs> but not really. I mean, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Couldn't be prouder of my dad for doing toe wrestling. I have got a four-year-old child myself and hopefully he's going to carry it on, keep it in the family. I just think it's brilliant and how he does the family proud of it, how he's proud of himself for it because it's a big achievement in his life and how far he's got with it. He's brilliant. He's, he puts on an act from being Alan Nasty Nash on stage, but no, he's not at all. He's definitely an act. He's brilliant, he's lovely, caring, brilliant. Oh, I just see him as dad. <laughs> <laughs> to the champion! Just how many more feats of strength there are to come from Alan Nasty Nash remains to be seen. But so long as he's wrestling, his total world domination seems set to continue. If anybody was thinking of getting into toe wrestling as a sport, I'd give him one piece of advice. Wait till I retire. <laughs> <laughs>